classified as abundant, deficient, or perfect based on the sum of all the factors except for the number itself. If a number is a perfect number, that means the sum of the factors except for the number itself is equal to the number. 6 and 28 are the only perfect numbers between 1 and 100, so let's test them out. Let's start by listing our factors of 6. Factors of 6 include 1, 2, 3, and 6. If it's perfect, that means we can add together all of the factors except the number itself and come out with 6 again. So we would add together the 1 plus the 2 plus the 3. 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6. Well, 6 does equal 6, so indeed, 6 is a perfect number. We can test that also for 28. Factors of 28 include 1, 2, 4, 7, 14, and 28. We would want to get, add together all of our factors except the 28. So 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 7 plus 14. When we add those together, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 7 is 14, 14 plus 14 is 28. So again, 28 does equal 28, so yes, 28 is also a perfect number. An abundant number occurs when the sum of the factors, except for the number itself, is greater than the number. 12, for example, would be an abundant number. Factors of 12 include 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. To test if it's abundant, we would then add together all of the factors except the 12. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 6. When we do that, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 6 is 16. Well, when we compare 16 to 12, 16 is definitely greater than 12, so 12 is an abundant number. Deficient values occur when the sum of the factors, except for the number itself, is less than the number. 22 would be an example of a deficient number. Factors of 22 include 1, 2, 11, and 22. So that means we would need to find the sum of 1 plus 2 plus 11. 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 11 is 14. If we compare, 14 is definitely less than 22, so that means 22 is a deficient number. Also, all prime values are going to be deficient numbers. 5 would be a prime number, which means its only factors are 1 and 5. Since we want to find the sum of all the factors except for the number itself, that means we can only find the sum of 1. Well, the sum of 1 is 1, and this is going to happen for all prime values. When we go to compare 1 to 5, 1 is definitely less than 5, making all prime values, including 5, deficient numbers. For the numbers 1 through 100, our perfect numbers of 6 and 28 are highlighted in pink. All of our numbers that are abundant are highlighted in yellow. That means all the remaining numbers not highlighted are going to be deficient. Check out the other videos in our playlist and don't forget to click on subscribe. Thanks for watching!